eat Dr. Smo. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major ooh, shout out to all of the channel members. This was the members over on Patreon and the members over on my website. Thank you for your continued support and investment into this space, my loves. May it come back to you times 100. If you are interested in extra content for me, where I post weekly, um, well, I upload every day, but I do weekly readings, zodiac sign readings, all of that back there in the membership area. So definitely check that out, my loves. Um, the replay for last night's class is also available on Patreon and on YouTube. I say this, listen, these classes this semester will change your life and perspective, okay? Change your life and your perspective. And so you going out into the world, there be, okay? Better ask about it. Better ask about it. <laughs> but, um, all right, let's get into this energy. This is the grandmother ancestor message. So I was feeling some of it last night. And I was going to record it last night, but I was like, I'm going to take a nap. And if I wake up, then I'm going to get up and record it. And I woke up, but recording wasn't on my mind. <laughs> so um, this morning when I finally got up, got up, got up, I felt the energy to record. Okay, so we're going to get into this energy of what I was feeling. Um, and then we're going to pull cards to talk more with your grandmother to see you know, her advice, the whys, the, you know, all of that. Y'all know the readings as the time progresses with the reading, it gets deeper and deeper. So progress with me. Um, I don't know how long this reading is going to be. Um, I'm just going to go until I feel her energy. Tell me to stop. Okay. So this energy was giving, there is an individual around you that you are connected to or you were connected to like in the most recent time so this is going to be like just confirmation of your actions or this is a warning energy of like next steps so it's two different energies in here there's someone around you who is receiving grace like spiritual grace spiritual favor because they're attached to you There's someone who is attached to you receiving spiritual grace and favor because they are attached to you. It's not on their own energy. It's not on their own accord. They're manifesting through your energy and you being connected to them. Grandmother, why is that? Their spirit is not intact. So your grandmother is saying that We all have an energy and like in that energy and our path, our life, we're awarded like spiritual energetic coins. When you interact with someone who has not earned or is not in alignment with like how you got all these spiritual coins, but they're like in spiritual poverty. But when they're with you, it's like y'all put y'all money together. Y'all put y'all coins together. So, for example, if you ever gone on a trip and one of the people on the trip didn't have any money. And so they're like, oh, well, we all just going to put all our money together and, you know, make it happen and make it work out. It's like that. Someone is only able to do something because they're connected to you because of what you have to offer, what it is that you're giving them, what it is, like the energy that you bring into a space. So it's like they they profit, they, they um, benefit off of. So for example, you're going to like an, an a, a, oh my gosh, your grandmother was not a clubber, you know? Because I'm thinking of this, this idea and she's just like, baby, I didn't go there, okay? So you saying this on your own. But think about with a club, and I'm saying this from my own understanding, um, and say the bouncer and the owner and stuff know you. So whoever comes with you, they get to skip the line and go inside. 
there's someone around you who is skipping lines or they're getting spiritual benefits because they're connected to you. And it's something about that connection needs to be disconnected because they need to learn what's really going on. Someone around you, was they were cocky. So this is worse. So some of you all, this person already left. So someone was very cocky about their energy when it came to being around you and connected to you. They felt like, oh, it was them. It was their, on their own accord. Da, 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 da. I don't need you. Da, 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 da. And they separated from you. And all of a sudden, things just started falling. London Bridges, 555 on the time. Things just really started to shift in their life. All right, let's see what signs these are. Grandmother, give me six of them. All right, we have Leo, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo again, the High Priestess with the Moon, Scorpio, Spirit, give me one more, and Libra. So we had Leo, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra, okay? This strength and this high priestess is standing out to me for some reason because this gives a vibe of you have an internal connection to both sides and you hold back a lot of your knowledge and your power. Your grandmother did as well. She was very strong in the spiritual world. It's like, and that's why she has that energy and that power to come back through in these messages because of what she learned when she was here on this earth in her last lifetime. Her energy is like stuck in that space, you know, and that's why she's here to be able to help and support. But it's something about with this high priestess energy and the strength you hold back a lot of what you know, what you feel, and what you understand. It's like you don't release everything at one time. All right, grandmother, what's this energy? I'm hearing her say they have to learn on their own. You know, this could be a child. And you, you're always there to save them. Every time they need something, you're there to save them. Every time they've lost something, you're there to help them. Someone needs to know what things are like without help. Because someone has come to expect the help. Um, and actually, someone did this with your grandmother's energy. I don't know if it was you or someone else. Because I'm hearing her say the same thing happened to me. When she passed away, a lot of the people who were depending on her, they didn't know what to do after that. And she was getting tired in the physical body. So that's why she's only here. Like she's here in the spiritual body to help and support. She's stronger in that way. In her physical body, she got tired. Because she was the spiritual glue of the immediate family. She was the spiritual glue but someone has to lose you just like how your grandmother when she when she left people didn't know what to do how to do this grandma pay this bill how to do that like it was a lot of dependency codependency and your grandmother wants you to break this codependency this is something that has been passed down um, through some generations in your family, at least a few generations within your family where there's been a lot of codependency, where individuals are dependent upon the energy of others. But you have this judgment energy at the bottom of the deck that's being sent right now. All right, grandmother, what is this judgment energy with the bones? All right, something is about to happen in the future. And I'm hearing everybody can't go. People have to be prepared for this that's coming.
people have to be prepared for this thing that's coming. What is this, grandmother? Because this is giving the energy of someone expecting this support and help. And it's like, you don't have to give it. Someone needs to know what it's like not having that. What is this dim bones? Because there's going to come a time when you're not going to be here. But there's also going to come a time when you're not going to be able to help them and save them. So they're going to have to learn how to do this on their own. Yeah, Ace of Coins. This could even be a financial measure. Someone that you're always helping financially, supporting, jumping in, doing X, Y, and Z. There's going to come um, some energy and time where I'm hearing you're not going to always be there to help them out of a tough situation. Or when something happens, you're not always going to be able to be there to bail them out. This is even down to cooking. There is someone who... They don't even really know how to cook. 11, 11 at a time. They they coming over to eat. What you got to eat? Okay. What y'all talking about? What's for dinner? Okay. Some of this feels like a heavy masculine energy. Or just someone who's in their masculine energy. It's like someone who's lazy. They're spiritually and physically lazy. That's what this feels like. It feels like this person is spiritually and physically lazy, your grandmother is saying. But like, I know some people are going to say, oh, they just need a chance to get on their feet. But she's saying, no, you can't coddle them. Trust me, you cannot coddle them. Coddling them is not going to force them to learn. She's saying, think about how you learned. She said, think about how you learned. Did you learn from coddling? Did you learn from someone always being there to pick you up when you fail? Did you learn from someone always being there to open something up for you? No, the son of knives in reverse. Someone is not going to make it to a next level space if they don't learn this autonomy. They need to learn the autonomy. Hmm. You know, you know what this is. This is like a father not being a hundred percent with their child, and the mother is overcompensating. For that with that child so the father is not forced to have to get his stuff together someone is only going to learn through falling but grandmother what message do you have in this it's something about a message on codependency Okay. It's a message on codependency. What does this mean? Through time and through some members in the family, the trauma forced them to feel weakened, like their power was weakened. And with the feelings of their powers being weakened and with the strength card and the high priestess, it's like they would always pile up and go to the person who seemed like they had the most power, 444. So it's like every 10 years in your family, the power shifts. Like the lead power shifts. So your grandmother was the lead power for a long time. And right now, who I'm talking to, 
you are one of the leading power sources. Take what resonates. Don't try to force something. If that didn't resonate with you, then it's not for you, okay? But who the grandmother energy I'm speaking to, who we are talking to, you are that energy now. Whether you're in the training spot of that energy or whether you don't know that you're in this energy because you haven't been trained to see it or understand it, but it's happening. People can see and sense your energy from miles away. It's like that animal instinct scent, you know. Um, it's very strong, especially with like hunting dogs and stuff. Their instinct is strong. Your grandmother actually wants you to pay more attention to how you overcompensate for others in your life and are you allowing them the opportunity to grow up or are you taking that opportunity from them okay how you take that opportunity from them is that when there's a lesson that they're meant to learn from you jump in and save them don't do that. She's saying don't do that. She's learned from her mistakes with that. Don't do that. Yes, yeah, seven of baskets in the reverse. She's gotten out of like that illusion of wishful thinking because it was like this feeling of, oh, we came from difficult roots and difficult times. So I have to be there to support to be what I didn't receive and all that. But there's no balance in it. So now you have a entitled brat versus a grateful person there's a difference of someone being grateful for the support and someone being entitled to what they feel like they deserve and in that entitlement they feel like they're going to get that in that that treatment everywhere they go but in reality they only get it when they're with you or when they're attached to you but in the real world, that's not what's happening, okay? Because it's something about under you, your actions is like you're trying to show them through actions. You're trying to show them this is what, you know, this is what you do. This is what happens through here. This, it's like trying to encourage them, you know, in a training program. Okay, thank you, grandmother. Thank you, grandmother. Okay, so think about in teaching, right? You have teachers who are in training. Then you have teachers who have a full license, okay? You have teachers who are in the training. So teachers who are on training licenses, practicum licenses, right? They can only teach if they are enrolled in a school. They can only teach if they are enrolled in a school. If they are not enrolled in the school, they can't teach. They can't do anything. They have to then now go get their full license before they get the benefits of teaching. Because the thing of it is, is that when they're enrolled in the school, it's expected that you're gonna get the support to continue being the best that you can be in this role, right? So this gives a vibe of someone who is in a training. So they're a, a, on a, teach, a training teacher's license, right? They're not a full teacher yet. They don't have that full license yet. And they're in school, because they have to be in school in order to reap the benefits of teaching with that. But they drop out of school. And they drop out of school and expect to still be able to teach. No, you broke your contract. You broke your spiritual contract. So now you have to re-enroll in another school if you want to still teach. And then you got to find a new job because that role that you had is now given away. Someone else has it now. Grandmother is preaching. It's like this illusion has to wear off. Father of Sticks coming out and then Miss Robinson coming out with the funeral. 
um, with the devil card. And you know, this card, I, I always love tapping in with Ms. Robinson because they did Ms. Robinson wrong. You know, Ms. Robinson was helping all them people, okay? And all the church people and all that. But when it came around to it, that she tried to turn on, well, the people tried to turn on her. And it's just like, baby, she was helping you. Y'all had favor because y'all was connected to her. So as soon as her favor got removed, everything around them started to fall. And they blamed her. But in reality, it was just the spiritual energy that she brought into the community. And they didn't keep up their end of the bargain. Because I feel like you are like this Miss Robinson. Like people come to you for help. They come to you for support. They come to you for greater understanding of things. They did the same thing with your grandmother. Come for food. What you cook? What you got? But as soon as, because now I'm hearing your grandmother say, let something go. Like you can help someone a hundred times. Let something go wrong that a hundred and first time they're going to blame you as like you're the worst person in the entire world. And that's why she's saying you need to start removing yourself from this individual because this is the type of individual that will try to find someone to blame for issues and problems in their life. Without taking accountability to see that their life is this way because of their own doing because of what they've done and what they haven't done. Because of what they've done and what they haven't done. It's all because of their doing. Let me open up these blinds. Okay, grandmother said open the blinds. I was about, I was still shuffling. I was like, okay, I'll do it after. The birds are birding right now, honey, and they've been eating a lot lately. The birds have even been eating a lot. And as soon as I, okay, I had to open it so that they come flying. <laughs> they just came flying to the feeder. <sighs> Let's get another spread out of here. Actually, let's go to the ancestor messages. Grandmother, what message do you have for your baby? What message do you have for your baby? <laughs> Walk away. As soon as I said that someone was walking by outside. <laughs> the simple things matter most. So don't take other people's problems and issues super serious. Believe half of what you see. Someone is not revealing complete truth. Okay, you know what she's saying with that? This person... They're going to come in or they have come in before needing some type of support or help with something. But they're not going to tell you the complete truth on how it got like that. And that's why your grandmother is saying this is that this person who you have to remove your energy from, they do things that you don't see. They do things that you don't see. They think thoughts that you don't know. It's like you don't know their internal soul. And you could be jumping in to help from a place of like really support and love, but is not really in alignment with the energy, okay? Of what needs to be done with their current energy and karma energy that they're in, okay? Yeah, they're gonna get all loud and, you know, this person may be loud. Cause she's saying side eye the loud one. So when you say no, how do they react? 
when you say no, how do they react? So your grandmother is actually saying a big reason why you need to be pulling back is because someone is hiding some stuff. It's like some skeletons in their closet right now at this time. And with these skeletons in the closet, you coming in to help, you're going to be taking over some of their karma by doing that versus them taking control over their situation and their karmic situations of what's going on, okay? Your grandmother is saying in this season of your life, you can't come in and be this Captain Saver. You have a grandma that would say like, damn, or, you know, then she'll say little simple cuss words like that. <laughs> I'm here as long as it's used in a positive context. Because <laughs> I literally just heard Super Save a hoe. Like, it was the whole word. So she'll say that word, honey, okay? You know, and you need to learn. It's like, you need to learn to be able to tell when something is more below the surface. And that's this high priestess. You're in a high priestess training. Like, you're learning, like, more high priestess knowledge, basically, at this time. You're learning more high priestess knowledge at this time. So even though this is a training for them, your grandmother is saying this is a training for you as well. The training for you is getting deeper into being able to see below the surface and not just the top energy of like, oh, I'm going to be nice. Oh, I need to be caring. Oh, they're family, so I got to do this. Oh, they're my friend. Oh, they've been here, so I have to do this. No. No, she said you don't. You're not called to help everyone. And sometimes you can bring about, you can mess up your blessings and your favor by jumping on to try to help and be there for everyone else in a situation that you are just supposed to be there for yourself. Okay. So this is your training as well. Your training of knowing that the best thing is not always to always be there to save someone. You have to know when someone needs to save themselves. Somebody got too big for their britches. They got too big for their britches. Any final words, grandmother? You have guardian angel. You are not alone. Your grandmother went through this issue as well. This was a lesson that she said she didn't all the time master until later on. But you do have the support of the cosmos and your ancestors to help you with this process, with this transition, with you saying no more, okay? You have the drum, dream and journey. This is giving me the energy of, she's saying sometimes when you jump in to help someone else and do things, you self-sacrifice. And that's why it's an issue. You self-sacrifice something about yourself in order to show up and be like a level of support, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case is for someone else, you sacrifice a lot. You, it's not bending corners, but like you try to compensate, like overcompensate a lot. 
and your grandmother is saying that in this season of your life, you need to keep yourself at the top. You need to keep yourself as a priority. Because you have a journey that you're on. A mission that you're working on. The spirit fox. Trust your talents in changing times. Yeah, you're about to be taking your talents to another space. You know, doing something different. And everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. All right, affirmation from your grandmother. Choose one, two, or three. If you chose one, I choose to live with courage. I do not allow others to intimidate me. I stand my ground. I never give up. I choose to live with courage. I do not allow others to intimidate me. I stand my ground. I never give up. That's number one. Number two. Everything is going to be okay. That's the message. And then number three, I am deserving of respect, love, and happiness. I give respect, love, and happiness to. I share. I thank you all for being here, my loves. You are always appreciated. And um, is there anything else, grandmother? No, grandmother has left the building, honey. <laughs> left the building. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out the links and things down below to my website. Um, if you're interested in past life regressions, um, hypnotherapy sessions, the links are down below as well. Or you can access it from my website. If you go to the menu and there is a section that says hypnotherapy and past life regression, PLR, You'll see it there, okay? But I thank you all for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit team is calling for you to do. Period. I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye.